Good morning, everybody, or good afternoon or good evening, depending on what time of the day you're watching. And I hope you are catching the replay if you didn't have a chance to catch the live. Anyway, my name is Colleen Light. I'm with Cards by Coco. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and I have a fun card to show you here. Um, let me see here. I, this is my third time. I have to say that the first couple of times I went on the wrong site. So I have a personal page and a business page, of course, and I decided to broadcast the first two times to my personal page, and that's not what I wanted to do. So I apologize if you thought you were watching a video and then found out you indeed were not. <laughs> so let me see if I can bring you up here and make sure everything is all set to go. Um, you know, technology is an ever-changing thing and sometimes it's a little difficult for me to keep up. So, okay, well, here we go. Um, this is it. So we're going to be working with the Bottled Happiness um, bundle today. So, and when I say bundle, it's a fun one because this one actually comes with a bottle punch, which, you know, if you know anything about me, you know I love my punches. So the ba Bottled Happiness bundle can be found on page 16. And of course, you know, just FYI, whenever you order the bundle, you just save 10%. So that's always a good thing. Um, let me see here what else. So I'm going to try and watch for comments today. Looks like there's a little bit of glare on this punch, but you know, as we move along, the glare won't look so bad. So this is actually the card we're making. And if you follow Stampin' Up! at all, you'll know it is time for our new mini catalog and the celebration catalog so i absolutely love this and i can show you the inside now so that's pretty exciting for me um so this is what i'm using today for our card base and i'm going to show it to you here in a minute this is free pool party and soft sea phone are the colors cards and envelopes you get 20 card bases and 20 envelopes free with a qualifying purchase. And so that would be $50. Good morning, Sharon. Um, before tax and shipping. So that's pretty, pretty exciting. And let me show you this. This is how it comes packaged. These envelopes, I'm hoping you can see in screen. Oh, good morning, Tammy. Um, how beautifully patterned this envelope is. And on the inside, we have more of the pool party. So the outside is your soft sea foam and then your pool party. And look at these card bases. These are just amazing. We don't need to look at all of them. Let me just grab two of them out here. We're going to be working with the pool party one today because I love pool party. And I don't know if you can really see in screen, but it has a pattern, just like a leaf pattern to them. And I have to say, if you were in a hurry and you just needed to send a note, this in and of itself would be fine. You could stamp, you could not stamp, you could throw something on there and not. Because just this in and of itself would make a beautiful card with this envelope. So if you are ordering any product, you know, there's so many cute things in this celebration catalog, little mini catalog. You just really, and this is what it looks like. You just can't go wrong. Anyway, this is today's card. And like I said, we're going to be using the bottled happiness and one of these um, note cards from celebration. And I did an article and put it on my blog last week about the wonders of the stamp apparatus. So, I'm going to show you all the tricks of the trade using this stamp positioning tool today. So I think you'll have fun. Um, and this is actually the Bottled Happiness stamp set. You can see all the different bottles and um, messages. I love the let's get into the spirit, sending a little message. And how in how all these things coordinate and come together. So watch for my post on Instagram and my blog this week because I will be showing you all the other fun cards I'm making. 
So today, let's get started here. I'm actually gonna start kind of at the end um, with our gems, because I don't have any Melon Mambo gems. So I wanna color some of my basic rhinestone jewels, and I wanna give them the opportunity to dry. So I'm going to go ahead and slip one of these out. I tend to, I'm rough on things, I gotta be honest. So I tend to always rip the packages these came come in. This is just one of our clear plastic envelopes here that I am using. I'm gonna use the bullet tip and I am going to take our my basic gem here. And these are the rhinestone basic gems. You can color on these and the pearls. Well, you can really color on just about anything is what I've decided. <laughs> Give it a try, it doesn't work out. What's the worst thing that happens? Anywho, so you can see we turn this into very clear and basic into a little bit more of a wow. I'm gonna set these off to the side. I'm putting them on the table next to me. So when I say to you at the end of this video, hey, I can't find that, everyone say, it's off to the side, Colleen. <laughs> this is what we're gonna start with. This is basic white, and I used the wonderful scallop contour dies. So these are great. Um, they make all sorts of, and I'll just show you this. They make all sorts of borders and flowers and great frames. So this is the one I used, and I'm going to slip this on the Stamparatus and show you how easily this card comes together using whatever colors you might like yourself. So I'm going to start here. Let me move this plate out of my way here. Um, that's a nice thing about this. Look at this. It just, you just move it. Um, just all slips out here. I'm making it look much harder than it is this morning. <laughs> anyway. I use this quite frequently for my, um, oops, I had turned wrong, for my Christmas cards. It is one of the things I just love because I do so many Christmas cards. I made a tick mark up here because I wanted to remember where my placement was. Um, let me show you here. So it will come with, for your photopolymer stamps, you need that foam cushion underneath and the Stamparatus comes with that. This is actually Stamparatus, um, the grid paper that fits perfectly in there. Um, let me see, what else can I tell you about the Stamparatus? I just love it, love it, love it. I should open up the page. I did a, a blog post on it last week. And as I was writing the blog post, I thought to myself, well, I don't know why I don't use that more on camera. I, and I think it's because I do my videos pretty fast because I don't want to keep you all that long. Um, but it really is just a wonderful tool. So that's in the wrong spot. Let's maybe see if this will be better. Perfect. So I'm gonna start with this one. This is a two-step stamping. So I'm gonna bring me to the stamp case. Leaves, flowers. For my leaves, I decided to go ahead and give a little bit more of a pop of color with that granny apple green. So Granny Apple Green, and I'm just gonna pop it down here. The thing I love about the Stamparatus, to be honest, is when you're making your Christmas holiday cards, Halloween, Thanksgiving, whatever, birthday cards, if you just found that perfect birthday card that you wanted to make, um, it's a great way to do a mass production. The other thing is too, sometimes with a larger stamp, you'll notice I'm gonna pick this up. I didn't press down right there hard enough. You can see, it's not a good image. I don't care for that. So we're gonna re-ink re our stamp. Keep your stamp case underneath so you have a nice solid base to stamp on. Bring it down again. We're gonna end up in the same spot because nothing moved. And we're gonna give that another little press. I'm wondering if that mag, nope, look, that's just perfect. Okay, and look at that image, it's perfect. So, I'm gonna grab my chamois, um, because I wanna wipe that off so I don't get ink all over myself. 
and I'm gonna wipe this off and then you're gonna watch me flip this plate around. So if you were interested in the Stamparatus, and let me tell you what page I think you can find that on. Um, I had it up earlier and then I don't know what happened to it. Let me see here, let me look it up. Um, if you were interested in it, you can find it on page 147. And yeah, 147. And you can get perfect placement all the time. So this stamp, our flower stamp here, so this is the one we're gonna be doing now. When you line it up, there's a trick. Line up your center of your flowers. That's the best way to do it. I already have it lined up because I did this yesterday. So you can see how easy the Stamparatus is because all I did was line this up last night for our video today and it's in place perfectly. So I wanted to use two colors. I didn't want the one. And I didn't have the right colors in my markers. You cannot use stamp and blends. You cannot use alcohol-based markers on your stamps. You can use the stamp and write markers on this. And I actually tried it with a blender pen, um, picking up some of the ink and that worked well. I am just going to use some Daffodil Delight and some Melon Mambo and my daubers here. And I'm going to apply my ink to that stamp just using the daubers. So I'm going to take this here, make sure I get some good coverage. I had so much fun just playing around with different colors and techniques last night. Um, and I am going to do my flowers here. And I'm not too worried if I overlay some of these colors. My garden right now, my, because we've had some wind and rain and whatnot, all of my flowers sim, tend to be just smushing, for lack of a better word, smushing together. I'm gonna do this one first, bring it down. I can already see I missed that middle one. So we're gonna do that one again. Sometimes it'll stick and it's okay, just put it back down. I just moved my magnet a little bit, so let me put that back down. I wanna make sure I have everything in alignment. Let's flip that there. Let me take a peek here. I wanna make sure I'm perfectly lined up, and I am. Okay, so I can see that I did not get good coverage on those middle ones, so I'm gonna go back. Again, the best thing about the Stamparatus, and since I'm gonna be going back, through, I'm gonna go ahead and apply my Melon Mambo real quick. Um, so I think I was saying that my garden is, you know, I'm an avid gardener. I just love all the flowers, love all the flowers, but mine are all kind of smushed down. Um, oops. So I don't really care if I get a little bit of extra color on my yellow flowers. I think it's how my garden looks right now. Um, and in fact, I'm gonna add just a little bit there to the tips because of the rain. Um, everything's just smushed together for me. And then we're gonna lay this color down and look at how beautiful that image turned out. I just, I love this. So, okay, so we're done with this. Oh, no, we're not done with the Stamparatus. I had one more plate that I wanted to use and then we'll be done. And I moved that one out of the way. And now I have to find it again, because it has a sentiment I want to use. Here we go. I'm gonna use the Sending Cheer. Again, I'm gonna place this underneath there, and I'm gonna use my Tuxedo Memento Black. So while I'm doing that, let me see if we have any questions. Oh, good morning, Kim. Um, Hope everything is going well for everybody this morning. Um, one of my daughters is getting married next week, so after today, we get pretty busy around our house. See, and I don't like how that one, I just, so you don't wanna smush, because you, that's it. It's not, I know that's not the right word. You don't wanna press too hard because you don't want that halo, but you also want a good solid image. Ta-da, look at that. 
Now I'm done with my Stamparatus. Here's your other trick. Keep your magnets far away from one another. I'm gonna just flip this around here and show you. There is a place to keep your magnets back here for storage. Keep them away from each other. They will crack if you put them too close together. Okay, there's our first part of the card. I'm gonna grab a scrap of basic white. Um, let me use a scotch tape. And I have our bottle right here. And I'm going to use pool party. First off, I love the color pool party. It's one of my favorites. Second off, that's what coordinates with our background. So I wanna really bring that in. So let me go ahead and do this. I'm gonna stamp off once. Oh, good, good image. And I'm gonna put this right down here. I don't need to use a Stamparatus for this because this is gonna give me a good image and I'm gonna actually pop it out with that punch. So that'll be good. So let's go ahead, grab our punch. Do you all love punches? I have to say, I love punches. They are my favorite. There we go, look at that. And while I have our pool party out, whoops, well there went the dog, or that's okay, the dog's outside, so I don't have to bend down and run and dig underneath and pick it up because if the pup bears was in here, I would have to really be looking pretty closely for that because she would have that swallowed in no time at all. All right, I want to bring this in while we're doing our stamping. This is our card base. You can see it's already scored. Doesn't get any easier than that. I have my, here. I had my bone folder somewhere, but this block will do us just fine. Let's bring this in again. And here is the sprig. And I'm gonna put this down in the corner, but I'm gonna tuck it underneath here because I want that little bit of cushion underneath since we are using photopolymer. Oh, sorry about the light changes, guys. I clicked it off with my, it's a sensitive, oh, and here's the bone folder right where I left it, right underneath that punch. My goodness, I tell you. And I just had the pool party in my hand, so we know it's close by. But if I don't see it right away, you know what, we're just going to switch to a different color because we have all sorts of fun colors we're using. I say we switch to granny. Oh, no, here it is. Okay, and I'm just gonna do this sprig here. Tap, tap, tap. And put it right down here in the corner. And that decorates the inside of our card. You can add your greeting, whatever else you might need in there or want. So, this is from the Hues of Happiness Designer Series paper and I thought it matched this perfectly and it is just it's an easy cut one and a half inches by five and a quarter i'm going to use my multi-purpose glue because i might need a little wiggle room so let me go ahead and do that real quick and we're going to put this on our card base like this Okay, let's go ahead and cover this with a little bit of adhesive. Use the adhesive of your choice. I know I'm gonna need some wiggle room. Oh, look, I have a little scab there. Lucy must have just got me right before I came in here. I didn't even realize it. And that's something you get so used to being scratched by these puppies, you don't even notice it anymore. Okay, and I am eyeballing this. There's real no rhyme or reason to this for me. This is just kind of where I want it. You can measure it if you if you like. I'm just not that worried about it. And then I'm gonna glue my bottle on. You could put it up on dimensionals, but I'm actually gonna lift um, this whole piece up on dimensionals because I'm gonna wrap some twine around the base, make it look like we're grounding this bottle a little bit. Okay, so how about we pop that right there? Isn't that pretty? Can you see how this all just comes together? That's so nice. Now, let's grab our Essential Baker's Twine here. 
It also comes with black, but my black is gone. It's, I have a new one. It's just, I have it in the closet in there. In my crafting closet, let me bring back in my silicone mat. Um, make sure I don't have anything on it. And run some adhesive down the side here. If it goes over, that's okay. Just scooch it back. Not a big deal. And I'm going to use this little groove notch. There we go. How easy is that? Just went around twice. Let me grab my scissors and we will give that a snip. And I'm going to try and tie a bow. And when I say tie, try, I mean, I really mean try. <laughs> I think a double bow would be great on this, but I struggle enough with a single bow. So I think that's what we're going to do. And I also know that I waste a lot of, a lot of twine or ribbon when I do this, but it, this is not my strong strength. So, you know, I'm not, I'm not that worried about it, to be honest. <laughs> okay. I'm going to take a glue dot and I'm going to adhere it. I'm going to kind of roll it around a little bit on there. Stick it to the back of my bow and we will get this adhered. Try and get that so, let's see here. I'm not just crazy about this bow, but I think it'll lay down okay. At least we'll keep our fingers crossed, right? Okay. And let's pop that, let me see here. No, I'm just not crazy about this bow at all. Let me see if I can get it to pull a little bit better. You know what, we're gonna start all over. See if I can straighten this out a little bit. That was even a bad bow for me, and that is really saying something. <laughs> even by my standards, that was a bad bow. <laughs> All right, let's give this a tug again. No, oh, it's twisting just a little bit. Oh, I think I got it. I think we've got it this time. Okay, I'm going to cut this off. I'm going to leave those tails a little bit long until I figure out what I want to do because I don't want to let go of what seems to be the best bow I'm going to get done today. Let's see if I can roll this around. Nice thing about these silicone mats is that the adhesive, you can rub it off. Okay. Let's see here, and I want to put it right there. Very good. Let's see. No, not very good. That's better. There. Doesn't that look nice? And then I'm just going to kind of hide that a little bit underneath. There we go. We'll just squish that glue dot down underneath, and that will do the trick. Well, who would thought making a bow would have been the toughest part of my card making today? Okay, let's get out our dimensionals because this is going to sit right here. So let me get out my dimensionals here and use up this one a little bit. And I'm gonna, I don't want a squishy card. I don't want it to fall apart in the mail. So I'm probably gonna over adhesive a little bit, you know? Um, but that's okay because I don't want it to squish here you know what we're just gonna cut this one here and I think we can just take this piece and run it right down here at the bottom perfect and we'll take these ones off let me clean up my mess here a little bit you should see, it's kind of like I just take my hand and do the big swoop, just the big swoop there. And there we go. Look at this. We're gonna center this here. And this is today's card using the Bottled Happiness Bundle. How pretty is that? And look at this envelope. You know, normally I'm a big believer in don't forget to decorate your envelopes, but these already come decorated and they're just beautiful. You could add a little something down here, but I don't think I will because we have our sprig out here on the front and our back is decorated. So, and then the inside has the pool party. So how pretty is this one? So this is today's card. Um, and this is, um, 
this week's video. Next week's video, I'll either pop on live earlier in the week or I'll do a pre-recorded one. I haven't decided yet, but if you like this set, you should get it. I just think it's so much fun. Watch my blog and my post this week um, for the other cards. Anyway, y'all have a wonderful day and a great weekend, and I will see you soon.